This video will show you how to set up, operate, clean, repack, and troubleshoot your CardioMEMS patient electronics system. The accompanying quick start guide can be used for quick reference of setup and use of your patient electronics system. For full instructions regarding use of your system, please consult the patient system guide included with your patient electronics system. The CardioMEMS patient electronics system consists of the antenna contained within a pillow, a connected handheld unit, and power adapter with cable and clip. Also included are a Wi-Fi USB adapter, landline phone cord and splitter, and an internal cellular adapter. Select the location in your home that will be most convenient and comfortable for taking your daily readings. This area should be free of objects that could cause interference with your electronics system. This might include an electric heating blanket, metal headboard, and other large medical equipment. You will need a flat, supportive surface large enough to comfortably lie down on the system pillow. To unpack, gently place the carrying case upright. Unzip the lid. Remove the system from the case by grasping the built-in handle. Pull the system straight up and out of the case while holding the travel case down with the other hand. Remove the power adapter, cable, and clip from the carrying case. The antenna that will be used to take your reading is contained in the pillow. The thickest part of the pillow will be under your head during the readings. The room will require a power outlet. If you are planning to use your home telephone line, then you will also need access to a telephone jack. The black box is the power adapter. Insert the power cable into the power adapter. Attach the included power cord clip onto the power adapter. Insert the power adapter cable into the connector on the back of the electronics system. Plug the other end of the power cable into the wall electrical outlet. Confirm that the green light on the power adapter illuminates. If not, make sure the power cable is securely inserted into the power adapter. The system can send readings to your medical care provider through a cellular signal, landline telephone, or through Wi-Fi. Typically, you will use the pre-installed cellular adapter. If you do not have cellular coverage in your area, you can use Wi-Fi or landline telephone connectivity. If you would like to send readings through a home Wi-Fi network, the included Wi-Fi USB adapter can be installed in an open USB port located on the rear panel of the electronics system. Prior to setting up the Wi-Fi connection on the electronics system, locate and write down your Wi-Fi network name and password. If you cannot find it, call your internet service provider for assistance. While the electronics system is powered off, insert the Wi-Fi adapter into either USB port on the rear of the unit. Turn on your electronics system and follow the on-screen configuration prompts to connect to your home network. You will also receive a thin gray telephone cable that can be used if you transmit your readings using your home telephone line. The pre-installed cellular adapter must be disconnected before using the landline telephone connection. To do this, lift up the pillow from the headrest to reveal the USB chamber. Disconnect the cellular adapter from the USB port. Leave the cellular adapter with the cable in the chamber. Return the pillow to its original position. Connect one end of the telephone cord into the wall and the other end into the back of the system. The provided telephone line splitter may be used if the telephone jack is already in use. Place the electronics system onto the surface where you will lie down to take your readings. To take a reading, begin by pressing the clear button on the back of your system to turn it on. 
the button will light up blue when the system is on. The system may take a few minutes to start. During this time, feel free to use the bathroom. You should be relaxed before taking your measurement. Remove the handheld unit from the storage cradle by the plastic handle and place near the system. Make sure to completely unwind the cable from its groove. Lie down on the pillow. A large green circle that reads Start will appear on the screen of the handheld unit. Press and release the green button once. Avoid placing the handheld unit directly on your chest during a reading. Adjust your position on the pillow until the bar on the screen turns green and you hear Posición correcta en la almohada. Permanezca inmóvil. If you don't hear this message, other voice messages can help guide you to the best position. These messages will ask you to shift position on the pillow if necessary. If you hear Señal baja. Muevas en la almohada. Change your body position by making slight movements towards the shoulder opposite of where your sensor is located. While the reading is being taken, you will hear some light music playing. Please be as still as possible during this 18-second reading period. When the music finishes, the voice message will let you know that you can get up. Lectura finalizada. Puede levantarse. At this point, you may step away from the electronics system, but do not push the power button or unplug your system. The reading is automatically stored and is sent to your doctor. If the reading is being sent through your telephone line, you may not be able to make or receive a call during the transmission process. The system automatically sends the information at no charge to you or your telephone service. After a few moments, the system will turn itself off, indicating that the reading was sent successfully. At this time, you may return the handheld unit to the cradle and store your unit. If your system is having trouble connecting, your reading is stored on the machine and will automatically upload the next time it is able to connect. It is important that a reading is taken and sent as prescribed by your doctor. Refer to the troubleshooting section of this video, the Quick Start Guide, or your patient system guide for assistance. If you're still having technical difficulty, please contact technical support at 1-844-692-6367. Unplug your system before any cleaning is attempted. The pillow cover may be washed as needed. The plastic cover underneath the removable pillow cover may be wiped with a damp cloth using mild detergent. Cables and the handheld unit may be surface cleaned only. Do not spray any fluid onto the system or allow fluid to seep into it. If you need to pack up your system for travel, you may use the original case that it arrived in. Open the carrying case from the top. Ensure that the system power is off by unplugging it. Detach the power adapter and cord. Ensure that the cable for the handheld unit wraps around the system using the slot located at the base of the unit. Secure the handheld unit in the storage cradle. Slide the guides and power cords into the pocket inside the travel case. Gently lift the system by the built-in handle located on the side of the unit and slide it securely into the carrying case with the pillow facing away from you. Zip the case closed. If the system will not turn on when the power button is pressed, examine the connections to the power adapter. If the green light on the power adapter block is not on, check connections to the power adapter and confirm that the power cord is firmly plugged into a working wall outlet. If the green light on the power adapter is on, check the connection between the cord and the electronics system. If the system will still not turn on, please contact technical support at 1-844-692 6367. 
If you are having trouble hearing the voice prompts, the volume can be increased. Once your system is set up and powered on, click Options on the Start screen. Select Volume and toggle up or down to increase or decrease. If the sensor signal was not adequate, a screen will appear describing the error. If this screen appears, ensure that there are no metal objects such as jewelry, keys, or belts near you or the pillow. Make sure you are holding the handheld unit away from your chest and press the OK rectangle on the screen to start the process of taking another reading. If this issue continues, consider larger items in the immediate vicinity of the unit, such as electric heating blankets, metal headboard or rails, or other medical equipment such as a CPAP machine, hearing aid charger, or oxygen supply. If the cellular signal is low, move the system closer to an outside wall to get the best signal. Remember, the system will store your reading if you need to unplug it and reboot in order to get it closer to an outside wall or window. If the system was unable to send the reading on the first try, it will attempt to send the reading again. If the system redials multiple times, check to ensure no phone is off the hook the telephone line is operational, and telephone cable connections are secure. If the system is having trouble getting a good signal from the sensor, the signal strength bar may go between green, white, and yellow. If this happens, continue to reposition yourself with small movements until the signal strength bar rises and turns green. If the signal strength bar is blue, this indicates your system is picking up interference from something other than your sensor. Ensure the area around your system is free of metal objects. If you experience other technical difficulties with this equipment, please contact technical support at 1-844-692-6367. If you have any questions related to your health, please contact your doctor's office.